In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take a simple image of a product and turn it into an interesting pattern. Roll the intro. What is up guys? Thank you for joining me here today at the Raw Factory. My name is Jacob and I'm gonna be walking you through my process on how I take simple photos of food or product and turn them into patterns. So if that sounds interesting to you, stick around and let's dive straight into it. Today, I'll be using this ice cream shot to walk you through this tutorial. Now, just in case some of you are curious, let me show you guys the behind the scenes. I have my 8600 Pro on a light stand with no softbox. My camera settings are at F11, shutter speed at 200 and ISO at 100. And for the backdrop, I'm using a pink piece of colored paper. To begin with, take a photo of just the colored paper. This will make sense later on. Next, I will place a sheet of laminating plastic down on the card so the ice cream won't ruin my paper. You don't have to do this, by the way. Place the ice cream in frame and now take a shot. Once you're happy with the final shot, I want you to open both the background image and the product shot through Lightroom and I want you to focus on editing just the product image. Once you're happy with the adjustments made on the product image, I want you to copy the exact same things over onto the background image as well. Now export them both as high resolution JPEGs. Now this is the fun part guys. Let's open up your product shot into Photoshop. Select the pen tool and start clipping around the ice cream. Once complete, head over to the path panel and rename this path as ice cream. Command click the ice cream path to create a selection around the product. Now head back to the layers panel, invert the selection by clicking Command Shift I, and now click the mask icon. If I turn off the original layer beneath, you can see that the mask has worked and is now on its own layer. Now let's insert the background image. Open the image in Photoshop and unlock the layer by clicking the lock icon. Click Command C to copy the layer and head back to your main Photoshop file with the ice cream. Command P to paste the image in. And now I wanna to touch up the ice cream. So let's duplicate this layer. Click Command J and rename this file Patch. I'm gonna use the Spot Healing Brush tool and also the Clone Stamp tool. And so you don't fall asleep guys, I'm gonna fast forward this part. Now that's looking a lot better. To ensure the ice cream retains its resolution when scaling up or down, I'm gonna convert it as a smart object. I'm gonna put the spare layer of the ice cream in a backup folder just in case. You're probably wondering, what am I gonna do about the shadow? Well, it's simple as this, guys, watch. Make a new layer, command click the ice cream layer below to create a selection around the ice cream. Now, ensuring that you are on the new layer above, hit command delete to fill in the selection. Rename this layer shadow and drag it below the ice cream layer. Change the blend mode to multiply and take the opacity down to say, I'm gonna go 30%. Select both the ice cream layer and the shadow so we can convert them as a smart object. And now it's one file. Okay, so time to create the pattern. Click file, new, 500 by 500 and click open. Let's grab the ice cream layer. Command C to copy, Command P to paste. Scale it down and ensure it is centered. Select the Edit tab and click on Define Pattern. Give it a name so you can easily identify it and click OK. Head back to the previous Photoshop tab and create a new layer. Go to the Edit tab and click on Fill. Now select your pattern and the orientation you would like. Make sure the color and brightness randomness are both set to zero. Now you can pretty much adjust the remaining settings to your own personal preference. And I encourage you to explore by moving the dials up and down to see what happens. Once you're happy with it, click OK and adjust the layer if need be. And now you have an awesome looking pattern. Wow, how's that? However, I'm still curious to see what the other patterns can do. So let's make a new layer and repeat the process. I'm gonna try the cross weave pattern this time. Feel free to explore the other options as I have. And I mean, besides the shadows being wrong, what do you guys think? Well, that is all for me today, guys. I hope you got something out of this tutorial. I hope you learned something. 
please feel free to send me a DM or tag me in your awesome creations. I would love to see it. So on that note, it's goodbye from now, but uh, not for long because I will see you next Sunday, guys. Catch ya.